we just finished hosting the fourth big GDevelop Game Jam, where over a thousand people joined, and over 200 games were made using the theme on or off, which unsurprisingly resulted in a lot of puzzle games being made, but there were also horror games and sneaky games and lots of other interpretations of the theme, which is great. So first we're going to go over the community voted winners, which are the highest rated games as decided by other participants in the jam, and developers of these games will win these prizes. They'll each get a 6 month gold GDevelop membership, and to help show off their win, they'll be given a special discord role. But let's jump into the games. In 10th is Robot On version 0.8 by Mikkel Dev which is a one-button platformer where you turn on and off your little robot character with a click of the mouse. And the challenge comes from trying to space out the distances and try to figure out where the robot's going to jump in order to get them to the end of the level. In ninth place is Lights Out, a very sneaky game by P-Life, which is a 3D game about stealing things from a house. but. If you keep the lights on for too long, the neighbors might notice and call the cops. So you need to rush to steal as much as you can while the lights are on so that you can see without getting caught. In 8th place is Foxy Boom Boxy by Matthew King, in which you play music from a boombox to charge up an explosion attack to get rid of enemies and obstacles. But, while the boombox is playing, the enemies will wake up and chase you. I can boom. In 7th is Mick Binary by Tempty1, in which you need to type in small 4 digit binary code to go up, down, or shoot while trying to stay alive and defend the house behind you. In 6th is Magnetic Alien Bash Mayhem by Atomic Potato Emil, where you have a giant magnet and a big metal ball, and you're able to turn on the magnet to attract the metal ball or turn it off to repel it, and you use this ability to cause mayhem and bash aliens. Winner. In fifth is Catacomb Manager by Sviatoslav, a one-bit puzzle game where you turn off and on the motion and abilities of different elements of the level to try to get your character to pick up collectibles and get to the end of each level. In fourth is Super Adventure Cheats Unlocked by Developer David, which is a platformer game where you have the ability to turn on cheats for a small amount of time to no clip through the environment, but if you do it for too long, the game will find out and shut itself down. In third is Switched Destiny by Riffle, which is a top-down Switch-based puzzle game where you need to guide your character through the level while looking for an object that will help you get through the door and avoiding enemies. In second place is Switch Puzzle by Vegetato, which is a platformer game with traditional platforming mechanics, but Instead of controlling them with your keyboard like you would normally, you need to switch them on and off, which turns the game into a puzzle game, where you need to figure out what combination of switches being left on or turned off will get you through different portions of the level. And the number one community voted game is Logic Bulb Adventure by Clark Padmore, a game that starts off as a 2D top-down puzzle game but then evolves into a 2D 3D mix where your character is in a 3D environment while controlling a secondary character with a gamepad in order to solve logic gate based puzzles. Now for some honorable mentions. These are games that weren't in the top 10 community voted games and didn't quite make it into the judges picks but they were interesting enough to bring up. Extenshi On by R.B. Raman. Superconductor Brother by Breadfruit Works. 
Astronaut by Gib Sid. And Kings of Rhythm by Miriano Dotjara. But now for the judges picks. For the judges awards this time, teams can receive credit for the GDevelop goodies store, where you can pick up GDevelop swag, asset bundles from the GDevelop asset store, and then some prizes from our sponsors. The first place winner will also win a copy of Zorin OS Pro, which is an easy to use Windows alternative operating system. And then from Pokey, the game's hosting platform, there will be some goodie bags with merch, and then the first place winner will win a voucher for the entry fee of a game event of their choice. And then a voucher from Fanatical.com, where you can purchase some great PC games and software. And for this jam, we had another guest judge named Krister McFunkyPants Katilla, who has been a part of the game dev space since 1993, with dozens of different projects under their belt. So, you know, no pressure. And their votes were tossed in with the other judges to decide on these five games. In fifth is Logica, made by Tullenbaki Productions and Fatal Exit, which is a logic gate puzzle game where you need to build a circuit using all of the elements provided. The game starts off pretty basic, but quickly gets a little bit out of hand. This game taps into the simple joy of trying to build a circuit, and really makes you feel clever when you find a loophole in the logic. In fourth is Cosmic Bastion by Noxbird, a game where you switch between a drone collecting the points or the character inside the ship working the control panels to defend the ship against waves of enemies and try to survive for 12 minutes before finally being able to escape. In third place is Switch Puzzle by Vegetato, a Switch based puzzle platformer game that started off pretty simple, but once you get the ability to rewind time and dash, it becomes a real test of skill. In second place is Carbon Ghost Decoder by Lev1, which is this eerie mix of old analog tech mixed with horror elements and glitches and... It does a great job of making you feel immersed in the space. By making everything feel slow and clunky, it felt much more like you were operating a switchboard on an old computer than it did playing a video game. This game was also our guest judge's favorite game. And then in first place is Logic Bulb Adventures by Clark Padmore. The basic logic puzzles in the 2D game were good, but the reveal of switching to 3D just opened up a bunch of new possibilities, and went from being a logic-based puzzle game to being a whole lot more. Now a huge thank you to everybody involved. The Game Jam sponsors for donating prizes, McFunkyPants, for helping out as a guest judge, as well as moderators, all of the participants, and all of those who hung out to play, rate, and give feedback on all of the games. It is all very appreciated. This jam, like all of the others, has been a lot of fun to host, which again makes me excited for the next jam, where we might be showing off something made by you.